Welcome to this tutorial of uh, making a 2-bit full adder using VHDL coding. So in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you on how to reconstruct a 2-bit adder by using two software called Quarters 2 and Model Sim. So first, click on Quarters 2. So this software is obtained for free on the web and click on Create New Project. Okay, click on Next. So directory of the project, specify it at, so you can create a new folder and name it as you like. So for me, I will name it as question 8 and select choose. Name of this project, you can name it anything you like, but I will name it 2bit adder. So just remember the name that you uh, you put here because in your program you need to have a similar name as what you put here so next and this one you click on next for device you select 7000s leave it other leave the other section as default click on next and for the EDA2 settings you click on simulation go to click on model sim altera make sure it is in VHDL format and click on next and this is the summary and click on finish so to immediately write the VHDL coding click on new and click on VHDL file and click OK so to zoom in just click on the detach window button and we can start writing so for simplicity of this tutorial I have already prepared a code and I'll just copy in the code into this editor and I'll just uh, briefly explain on the code itself briefly so the first and the second row so is the declaration of the library and the standards we are using in this uh, in this module in this uh, in this editor in this coding so we are using an IEEE library and we are using IEEE standard logic and this is the basic um, declaration that we need to have before we start writing and next thing we need to have is the entity of the 2-bit adder so entity of the 2-bit adder um, is uh, is where we declare our port so it is where we declare our port we have um, port meaning we have uh, to declare our input and output variable that we are using so in this where we have a total of eight variable a b c d and some zero some one carry and c a so this total of eight variable will be used to compute the sum of the two bit numbers and next we have to declare the architecture of the two bit adder so in architecture we have to define that how the data of the data of the um, data of the two bit adder will flow so i prepared a a simple presentation on this so and a 2-bit adder so a 2-bit number c and a a binary number 2-bit binary number will be added to another binary number d and b so a will be added to b to produce some zero so in case some zero overflows this overflow will then carry forward to this c a variable and c a variable will then continue to be added to c and d so c a plus c plus d will produce s1 and in case S1 overflows, this overflow will then be carried forward to another variable called carry. So the total sum will be this carry S1 and S0. So therefore A, B, C, D is the input and the rest will be the output. Okay, so if there is uh, nothing wrong in the code, then we can click on start compile okay yes and click on save okay full compilation was successful with two warnings okay let's view the warning so is the war if the warning is about the classic timing analyzer or timing analysis so uh, we have we can ignore this warning since we are using another software for the analysis of the waveform okay so now let's move on to the next software so the next software will be 
uh, we'll be covering on how uh, on whether or not this code that we have um, constructed is correct so we verify we verify whether it is correct or wrong based on the output waveform that is produced by this coding so let us go to the next software model sync Altera click on open and okay uh, click on jump start this one close go to file go to new project okay project location just put it as the in the directory that we have created just now for me it's question 8 project name I'll just put adder and click on OK so add existing file and browse click on simulation click on model sim click on to be added on VHO make sure the extension file is dot VHO and it is the it is located in the correct directory so it's in the correct uh, correct place and click on open okay, click on OK close okay right click on the file go to compile compile selected and once it has a tick here it has a check and we can start to simulate by click on simulate start simulation okay go to work select the 2-bit adder design unit okay okay there are a few tabs that will pop up and note that we have a transcript tab wave tab objects tab process tab library project and simulator so go to objects tab click on the first variable hold on shift click on the last variable so these are the eight variables that we, we that we will use to view the output waveform right click on the variable click on add go to wave select the signals okay and then we will be redirected to a wave tab so this is the wave tab so now we need to specify the input how do you specify the input by varying the clock so the first one is uh, we have a period of 100 and we select a falling edge the rest just leave it as it is okay right click on B go to clock click on falling edge period change to double of the first double of A which is 200 because double 100 is 200 so right click on C go to clock falling edge select 400 which is double of 200 okay right click on D go to clock falling edge double 400 now it will be 800 so click on OK so once we have this done then we can click on run run and it will, the waveform will be produced okay so now we can see we can actually click here and drag this slider here to see and note that as we drag the input state changes as well so let's take a test case so for 0 1 1 0 so remember that a plus b will produce some zero carry ca plus d plus c plus d will produce someone and carry so let's just try to simulate a plus b 0 plus 1 will produce some zero which is one without any carry so c plus d is zero plus one plus c a is zero so we produce some one and without any carry so the answer is correct so let's just take a second case maybe we move it to this part so we can drag this variable over here to view it uh, to clearly see the c a variable and so this and for now when we drag it here variable a is 1 0 0 1 so 1 plus 0 will produce 1 with c a 0 so 0 plus 1 will produce someone 1 with carry 0 so this is correct as well so let's just take a last one so all ones so 1 plus 1 is 10 in binary so 10 meaning to say 
sum 0 will take the value 0 and CA will take the value 1 so this is correct so to compute the sum 1 so we need to add CA to C and D so 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 11 which is sum 1 is 1 and the overflow we put the carry 11 so this clearly verifies the truth of the I mean the accuracy of the design in VHDR coding and it is proven by this waveform so I think that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching Tell me, I'm